Hi guys. Um, <clears throat> this is my 10 month on testosterone update because I didn't make one for my 9 months because I've been too, I don't know, lazy, depressed. Depressed because I'm lazy, lazy because I'm depressed. Can't tell which anymore. Um, so yeah, I figured I would actually make one this month because uh, I've had some changes. So, <laughs> look at this, look at this little guy. I don't even know if you can see Dobby. Dobby. Mm. Okay, sorry. Um, so a lot has happened since my eight month update. <sighs> um, life things first. I adopted a puppy. Say hi. Say my name is Scrappy. And I'm part Corgi, and my daddy rescued me from the Humane Society. He's precious. Adopting a dog was one of the best things I've ever done, because even though he misbehaves a lot because he's still a puppy, he's made me really happy. So. And, uh, Allie and I broke up. But we still live together. We're still good friends. So, that's nothing to be upset about. Um... I've been in my job for almost six months now. That's exciting. I just hope that eventually they decide to make me permanent because I need health insurance. Um, okay, so as far as changes go, um, well, I talked to my mom on the phone a couple days ago, and she said um, <clears throat> that my voice was getting deeper, which I could tell it was, it's felt, it felt like it was getting deeper again, like, last month I think the thing is though I feel like nobody at work knows how deep I talk because I've got to be quiet at work so when I talk I'm talking in my falsetto like this and when I'm trying to have conversations with people I'm talking like this so I cause I'm not used to having a deeper voice because when I talk it sounds like I'm being loud right now so it's I still have to get used to it um, my acne is starting to clear up, just not right now. I've had like a little bit of an outbreak the past week. Stress. I'm always stressed at the end of the month because, um, the end of the month's really, really, um, crammed at work. We have a lot of work and a lot of overtime to do, but it's also my favorite time of the month because we get overtime. Um, so I have extra money because I, um, my other roommate bailed on us and left us. So that's $200 extra just for rent that I have to pay every month. And then there are the other bills too. But um, actually one of my coworkers is gonna be moving in with us in a couple of weeks. Um, they're a pretty cool person. Um, they're GQ and uh, yeah, they're really cool, and they knew we needed the help, so, and plus they live like a half hour away from work and have to take a bus, and it takes like two and a half hours, and we live like six, seven minutes away from work, so we could carpool. Um, another thing is I'm getting hairier. My arms, like, you can't really, no, it's not bright enough in here to see but my arms I'm like growing hair on the bottoms of my arms it's weird my butt is still getting hairier I, it's, I'm getting hair everywhere except for where I want it which is on my face I'm getting hair on my face it's just not filling in nicely like you can kind of see my sideburns um I'm trying to participate in no shave November you can't really see my mustache in this lighting, and I don't know, you can see that, but I have like a neck beard going on. And I have some whiskers on my chin, but that's all blonde. You can't really see that unless you're up close to me. <clears throat> um, my feet are getting pretty hairy. Dobby, what are you doing? <laughs> I have too many animals, they're crazy. Um... 
Let me think. I feel like I've gained more weight. Actually, like people say that your chest is supposed to get smaller on testosterone, but mine's gotten bigger. I can tell because I'm like getting darker stretch marks around it, and it's really upsetting to me because I'm still nowhere near being able to afford top surgery. I'm trying to take out loans and stuff, and like my friends trying to get people to donate, but like how I've been saying for the past forever now, I don't want donations. Like I want somebody or several somebodies to loan me the money so I can pay them back because I'm, I'm not going to ask for donations um but yeah so there's that um my legs are my leg hair is getting darker I don't know if they're actually getting hairier but they're getting darker I don't know if you can really I'm a blonde so it's just kind of hard to see um Wow, my bumps look really bad in this lighting. They're really not that bad. You can barely see them in person. Same with my acne. Um, whatever. Um, I can't really think of anything else. I think I've had a little more uh, growth, which is cool. Um... I was, I just, I had this weird experience at work last week, the, the guy that sits next to me, um, I don't know, I felt like he was being kind of shady, like, twice he went into the bathroom, like, a minute or two after me, and then the second time he was at the urinal and he was trying so hard to make eye contact with me when I came out of the stall, I was kind of weirded out, like, I always notice he's looking at my computer screen, and I don't know, like, I felt like he he knows and i thought maybe he was gonna be a dick about it but then i thought he's probably gay and attracted to me because my friend andrew is like acquaintances with him because we all worked at the same place and he and andrew talk sometimes what making a video what did you do to that I think they expired August 18th because when I opened it, it popped and exploded and exploded so hard it hurt my hand. And they smell weird. Throw those away. Okay, baby. Biscuit disaster. Um, anyway, he said that he thinks that this guy is, like, secretly gay and using, um, like, weightlifting and bodybuilding stuff as an outlet. Because we've caught him, like, looking at some risque pictures of men during work hours before. Um, he's younger than me. I think he's going to be 22 in February, I think he said. Anyway, he messaged me on the um, work Skype today, and he's like, Hey, what kind of music do you like to listen to? And I was just like, he's, he's gay. Because <laughs> straight cis men don't do things like that. And like he's he's so awkward. He'll just like I'm obviously using my phone right now, but pretend this is like a desk. And he'll just like lean over and be like, "Hey, so uh, what are we working on right now?" And I'm just like, "Dude, you're so awkward. Like he's even more awkward than me. I didn't think that was possible." <laughs> but I kind of hope he is gay because uh, he's cute. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm now interested in men. It's still a very strange occurrence to me, but uh, it happens, I guess. I still prefer women. I guess more, more or less I'm curious about men, which I've never been before in my life. So it's very strange to me. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I can't think of really any more changes. I've been getting more muscle in my arms. It's, I don't know why I don't do anything. I'm lazy. I play video games. That's about it. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to say. One weird thing that did happen was yesterday, um, Ellie gave me my shot and it hurt really bad and I looked back and there was I was bleeding a lot and I was like, Wow, this is healthy. So oh yeah, another thing is um some a friend of mine sent me this form for low income people to probably like to try and get like um androgel for free and I've been getting really bad shot anxiety for the past couple of months now and I don't like it so um I'm gonna try to get the andro gel because I'm already I'm already comfortable with where I'm at in my physical transition as far as testosterone goes so I don't care if the next few changes come slower um because I'm passing 100% I think maybe no maybe not uh, cause, uh, my friend from work that's gonna live with us said that they could tell I was trans, but because they've been around a lot of trans guys and they could tell I was binding, which sucks cause I double bind every day, <laughs> but whatever, I'm not worried about it. Um, I guess if you don't know, if you've never really been in, around trans guys, I guess you wouldn't really know. I don't know. Um, I tried injecting in my thigh a couple of weeks ago. Never again. That was so painful. I don't know how people do it. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's all I really have to update. Um, I think I'm going to be doing another binder giveaway for Christmas, though. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Because, yeah, I can't afford top surgery, but... I want to help other people out as much as I can and Christmas is a time to you know spread joy and give presents and I really like giving presents so I want to do another giveaway I'm sorry this video is really freaking long it's to make up for two months worth of not making videos I guess um, so if you actually watch this entire thing thank you if not that's cool too um, I should be making another one next month, though. So, yeah, thank you for watching.